you're spending, spending so much time with the conditions are fairly cramped always, like, you know, and you get a bit of bad weather to go with it. It, it, it is really hardship, like, you know. You, you have a lot of lean times, you get no wages, like, the, like last week, you now, like, boats hadn't been out, so you have no return at all, but, but you take the good with the bad. Nick Quigley was born in Hoth and has been fishing there for nearly 40 years. He has been skipper of his own boat for the past 14 years and is a founder member of the Hoth Fishermen's Association. Hoth's fishing tradition dates back to the Middle Ages. It's mentioned in Almeric's chronicles of the 12th century. It remained a backwater, however, until the completion of the harbour piers in 1812, which enabled it to become the first mail station for Dublin. But Hoth's fortune soon waned. The harbour was plagued by constant siltation and the mail service was moved to Kingstown in 1834. Fishing continued, but towards the end of the 19th century there were many pleas for state aid, with the herring waters largely fished by Scottish boats. Throughout this century, however, the number of fishing boats has risen steadily, reaching a peak of over 50 in the mid-70s. Despite the oil crisis, it was decided to develop Hoth as the major fishing port on the east coast, putting it on a par with Killybegs, Dunmore East, Castletown Bear and Rosseville, and providing it with deep water berthing and onshore servicing facilities. Work began on the £4.5 million pound development plan in 1978, but by the time construction work had finished in 1984, the total cost was estimated at somewhere between £12 and £15 million. Pounds. The most controversial aspect of the harbour development was the provision of a five-acre yachting marina. A quarter of a million pounds was allocated, which Hoth Yacht Club was to repay over time. However, the job in fact cost five times more, one and a quarter million pounds, with the state bearing the extra cost of one million. Among the members of the Yacht Club have been some of Dublin's leading figures, including Charlie Hawhey, John and Jennifer Guinness and Anthony Gore Grimes. But despite the problems, the harbour has brought considerable improvements for the fishermen. In, in conditions and winter weather now, down, all down the years now, we had a, when we got east of the east or north east wind, we had a really rough time because we were on the pier practically around the clock with boats being damaged and breaking ends and going adrift and one thing and another in the storm. But since the harbour was developed, we, that has been eliminated totally, you know. There's no, no motion whatever in the harbour now, it's, it's so one bit of peace we had that we didn't have over the years. You can go home at night now and leave the boats there and forget about the matter of hard it blows, no damage or whatever will come to them. That is one great boost to the harbour, you know. Oh, we left the home grounds in the month of June And for canny shields we soon were bearing With a hundred crown of the silver darts That we taken from the shores of hell Now the work was hard and the hours were long And the street men sure it took some bearing to sleep standing on the feet And they dream about the shoals of hell When uh, my son finished school he, uh, he went down to the sh ship's chandlers and he, he bought a suit of boilers and a pair of boots. Threw them down the boat, he says, I'm going fishing with you, Dad. I said, fair enough. He come with me and he spent five or six weeks with me and it was pure hell. And he was, he was very glad to get ashore again. Now that's, life is not all that rosy you now, even, even. Pure, one of your own. Pure hell in what way? Oh, pure hell. Because, like, young lads have no social life. For three or four or five days to see at a time, you might be in for a few hours and away again. No social, social life is non-existent. Conditions do be really bad. In bad weather, the like conditions are really bad. But uh, it's all worth it all. You get ashore again. Like, and 
get into the home facilities again, which badly needed. You haven't gotten the majority of the votes.